2022 Pino Weight Class. This fight is sponsored by Ruben's Meal Company. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you first, making his way into the blue corner of the ring, representing Mal Thai. Please welcome Kevin Kick, right from the kick. Great counter kick, southpaw position from the Origins fighter. Still smiling though. No selling M period to this fight whatsoever. Just a bit of showmanship. Barnum trying to find a little bit of range with that jab. Nice inside leg kick. First one we've seen tonight when we went to Orthodox and Southpaw. I'd like to see a little bit more of that. For Barnum, that body kick is huge there, going from that rear left leg. Interesting to see if he tries to implement that. Nice, McGinnis applying that pressure. Southpaw, left cross. And it's it's a little bit of a misnomer to say now when you have an, uh, a sort, an orthodox versus a southpaw that both fighters are trying to get their foot on the outside. That's not as prevalent, it's not, not as definitive as it used to be. No, and it should be. Nice head kick, see a spin kick there. There's definitely an influence of another martial art. Spin kicks don't naturally come in Thai boxing, it's not really taught, it's power kicking in knees. So again, leads me to think that the Origins fighter has a background in traditional martial arts. He's doing a good job, there's almost elements of maybe Taekwondo there, but he's doing a great job of stepping out to his right to throw something like the spin. Absolutely, absolutely. He's very, very confident. Confident, relaxed, Bam seems a little bit more, what we call a didactical approach, coaches telling him what to do. In the corner, we've seen a reciprocal, we've seen the fighter talk to the coach, so there's a different type of dynamic going on in the corner as well. Great kick and a recovery. That's the first time we would have seen some kicks and a quick recovery, which brings it back into that check position. Which again, nice kick again, and he's very fast to pull it back. Smart work from McGinnis there to put Barnum in the corner so he couldn't really utilize that range. But at times you're looking at Barnum and you're thinking he looks like a traditional boxer, then he looks like an Olympic Taekwondo stylist. Yeah. Very adaptable. Punches. McGinnis has some great punches, very tight. Oh. Even though that shot didn't land, I like the obscurity of that shot. I think again it shows a great foot IQ. That's a great kick. Oh, nice straight shot right down the middle from McGinnis. I think you're right, Sanders obviously a strong boxing background. That that's very natural for McGinnis. You see him standing off, great teeth to the face, lead leg. And again, Barham just enjoying it. He seems to be playing, but I don't think he can rest just yet. Needs, needs oh, oh, that's counter. a nice. And again, it's the first time we've really seen somebody paw with the jab. Yeah. Nice checking. He's controlling the distance. Again, there's definitely influence uh, from Barham on a different martial art. Again, the side kick, when he checks, he's flicking out a side kick. Has no effect uh, in the match, but what it is doing is it's con I've seen him showing a 45 degree kick, hack kick. So maybe we might see McGuinness attacking the inner leg round of Barham, two. round one. There we go. Again, the important thing when you get instruction from the corner is not to do things exactly straight away, it's to do it when you feel the timing is there. Another little bit of a slip there from Barnum. There's that side kick, you said not indicative of Muay Thai. No, uh, the, the closest thing you would have is something similar, we'd call a side teeth, mm. like a side push kick, but it doesn't seem to, it seems to be more chambered, which lends itself more to a traditional martial art. Nice counter shot from Barnum right there. He was setting up for a spin kick, yeah, here we go. That hurt him, that was a liver shot, right to the liver. You can see he's pinned that elbow quite close to the body. Going again. Goes up tie with it, more slaps than connects. So he's changed from a spin back kick, a linear shot to a spin hook kick, a more rotation shot. I even love that fight IQ of how he's actually penetrating to hit the scoring area. And 
that's the thing. Coming from that southpaw stance, that fade away counter lead hook is always open when your opponent comes forward. Yes. There's the hack. He's employing the hack a little bit too late. He just needs to do it a little bit more, a little bit faster. And needs to kick through. When you take the shin pads off and we kick, you almost have to kick with a disregard that it's going to get blocked. Mm. And we kind of see a little bit of hesitation in McGuinness. He seems to be not just letting it go. Set it up with a jab. Oh. Oh, beautiful coverage of distance there from McGuinness. I think as the fight goes on, McGuinness is going to default to his natural strength, which is hands, a jab cross. He's obviously very proficient wick kicking, but he seems to default get the most scores with that oh, as, as being a coach and the sympathies because uh, I've been there. Round you know what you want to do, but it's very difficult to do it when you meet uh, someone like Barham that has that unorthodox Muay Thai style. Skillful, just a little bit unorthodox, not the traditional. Again, there's that most feared away counter lead hook from Barnum. But it's when McGuinness is throwing punches and bunches, so yeah. to speak. It's that forward momentum, Absolutely. not just that one shot. When he's throwing threes and fours, like he did there, throwing combination shots, he's landing. Absolutely. Absolutely. He just needs to do more of it. He's doing a good job now of cutting the, the ring off. And again, we'll see, you'll know maybe Thai boxing might be was in a sport of origin, McGuinness. Mm. As he went in there, and we seen Barham throwing a teep, the natural thing was to catch it with two hands or scoop it, but we've seen him double elbows down like a boxing match. So it was definitely, I would say, his origins would be in boxing. Will have transferred very well into the Thai boxing lane. He just needs to do more of it, as you said. Good punches stiff. and punches. Yep. Good stiff jab there from Barnum. See the frustration coming from the blue corner. But this is good work. Keep him in the corner. Absolutely. Land your shots. You can take the back and throw one or two knees off. Lara will then break. It's a win toy boxer. You can come around, grab from the front. You can't obviously suplex it or anything like that from your sport, but uh, <laughs> you can definitely throw a few knees to the back foot. Get Very that. nice. I'm really enjoying that lead counter foot, shot. Then one or two things can feel like trying to jump the Grand Canyon. Fifth and final round here, Pro C Class Muay Thai action at Fifth Deliverance 12. Round. Phil Campbell, Mike Cassidy on the call. <laughs> Opening up with renewed impetus and vigor is McGuinness, but gets tripped. We can see there if he hadn't tripped him, uh, McGuinness was going for an uh, illegal Thai boxing sweep. You cannot hook the leg around like that. That's more, more a judo style throw. Little bit of gamesmanship there from Farnham. This skill set seems to lie with Barham. He definitely has a mixture of martial arts in there. He's a strong Muay Thai uh, even, even style. Just, even just that little knee shield yeah. he was implying there. Absolutely. First time we can see him flying, Southpaw stepping off, Barham stepping off outside McGuinness, stepping right as McGuinness comes forward. What McGuinness is doing is, is oh. his, his punches are, he's, oh sorry, Barnum, he's, he's very much getting caught, but just on the end of punches, they're not landing Absolutely. clean, and it, it's yeah. a very, very intricate skill to have. And that's that mobile style mm. that uh, Barham has. He moves an inch or two out of the way, he yeah. gets glanced with it, and he just responds with a kick or a knee. And, nice and check. When, and when you force your opponent to over, overreach with shots, that then depletes their energy levels. Yeah, I think I seen... Oh, that was a clean shot, though. I think before that, Barham threw what we used to call an outside crescent kick. This is a, a definitely a taekwondo or a karate background. <laughs> 